Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is a video about uh, replacing my broken fan motor on uh, the rear cooling fan for my Buell XB9SX. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That thing went through thermonuclear meltdown. You can actually see, oh, sorry. You can actually see, let's see if I can get a light on this real quick. You might able be able to see some metal shining through on the back side there. You can see the plastic went through <laughs> a rough day. Um, so this this fan is this fan motor is shot. As you can see there, it's not supposed to do that. And so there, you can probably find some used um, fans uh, from from other Buell owners out there. You might be able to find some NOS parts from some dealership somewhere. But here's the factory um, housing for the fan. And all it is is a SPAL A101DX. That's Alpha 101 Delta X-Ray. And um, just so happens that that same motor is available on Amazon and other vendors. I'll put a link down below for y'all. Um, it's available for purchase for about 60 bucks, $65 I think is what I paid before tax. And uh, it's, it's uh, I'll put, like I said, I'll put the link down below, but it comes in a box like this. Obviously the, the shroud is different than the stock one. And I'm following some directions that were from the um, Buell, let's see, Bad Weather Bikers or something like that forum. I'll post a link down below. It may be from the Buell XB forum. I, I honestly can't remember, but it's a pretty, pretty straightforward process, uh, ostensibly. Um, you get some 8x32 screws and some nuts. You basically make a makeshift puller. And the idea is to tighten these until it presses the fan off right because that's pressed on sorry that's pressed on and um so i'm working working these back and forth to uh to take this thing off and uh hopefully we get that done so wish me luck might be helpful if i got the right it is not the right okay so the right wrench size is uh three eighths and uh Allen is 964ths. And so I'm just gonna tighten these up. A couple turns or one turn at a time, just depending. Uh, I'm going by feel rather than anything else really. So just trying to feel the tension build up. basing my turns on that. There we go. Kind of a hard time getting it lined up. Feels as if it's moving, but it's hard to say. It could be the shroud flexing. Um, definitely undergoing some. Yep, I can see it. It's coming out. So it's just kind of a slow going process. So I'll go ahead and fast forward this process for you guys, and we'll come back whenever I've got this fan removed. All right, guys, that's it. We got it pressed out, uh, no damage to the fan motor or anything like that. And so now I'm just gonna reassemble this. All right, guys, so pardon my mess here. I, uh, I attempted a, a few ways outside of those, that homemade puller um, to get this fan blade removed that including that included trying to brute force the fan blade off and uh i can't do it lance you look like a strong young pup 
Why don't you see if you can give that a nice tear? Don't hurt yourself now. Hey guys, so let's get this thing reassembled. Um, this is new motor, new fan. I'm gonna make sure I'm getting the right one put back in. And uh, as you can see, it's a perfect fit because it is the right part number. Um, one thing I gotta do is remember that it's neat. it needs to be clocked with the wires pointing to the 830 position as I'm looking at it this way because the housing mounts into the bike like this, right? So it slides in and this is up, this is down, right? You got that? All right, so let me go ahead and screw the motor into the housing. Pretty straightforward stuff here. I'm using all new, all the new screws. I don't want to use the old ones. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. I just want to use this new stuff. So I'm just getting it good and tight. I'm sure knowing Buell, there's probably a torque spec for this. I'm just kidding. That's doubtful. Um, part of me wonders if, if the old unit was ever replaced at some point in its history. I kind of doubt that because that is the um, stock connector that's on it. Um, but the fan came off really easily. So this is the stock fan, stock motor, and it was very little effort to just brute force this thing apart. I mean, I actually it wasn't brute force at all. It's just kind of like a little tension and went pop right off. That was not the case with with this new unit. Um, I'm also curious what I'm gonna have to go through to press this back on. Hopefully it's no big deal. Um, let's see. Oh, easy, done. It's on there, there you go. So now I have a new fan. Um, I do need to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda cheat. And I won't show this because it's just wiring, but um, as you can see, the connectors are different, right? So what some guys are doing is completely taking this connector apart and, and reconnecting everything to these wires. And what I'm gonna do is clip, clip, and um, get some heat shrink, etc., and solder the two wires together. And that way I don't have to worry about um, getting these connectors right. I just have, yeah, it's two different color wires. I'm sorry, okay? My gosh, you guys. Can you cut a guy a break? I mean, I'm barely keeping this bike on the road for crying out loud. So anyways, that's it for, for now. Um, next video, you'll, you guys will see the bike put back together. Um, right now, it's still in pieces. So this is the current state of the bike. Um, fan obviously is removed and uh, that was a discovery whenever I was pulling the shock out discovered that the fan motor had gone kaputski and so uh, yeah here we are so I'm going to get this put back together and the shock and everything put back in and uh, I think we'll be good to go so once I get it all back together, I'll do another quick, maybe just a quick um, YouTube short video of uh, what that looks like uh, with the bike all together and the new yellow shock and the new color scheme. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, uh, thanks again for tuning in. And until next time, keep it between the ditches and peace out.